Hello everyone, my name is Ian Neil. I'm the author of the certification guide for Pompture Security Plus 601 exam. This is my second book in the same series. My background is I've worked in IT for about 30 years. Um, I'm a Microsoft certified trainer and I teach Pompture products from A plus to Network plus to Security plus to CASP to Cloud plus as well. And I wrote this book so I could help young people get certified, i.e. if they're going to transfer into cybersecurity or if they're just trying to get into IT. I also wrote it so that IT managers that want to get a security background as such or as security knowledge base can actually use this. I've been delivering Security Plus for the last four years, about 45 weeks a year. And with that experience, I've had students that are logistic managers, non-IT technical through to technical people. So I wrote this book for the new CompTIA 601 exam because it's got a lot of good information inside there. Now, there's a lot of cloud and cloud security. So I picked my book up and I thought, Let's get cloud in there. So I've got a picture of a cloud and I've also got a couple of Blackhawks because I know a lot of DOD and US military like it. So I thought it'd be quite a nice thing to have. In fact, I've had a review on LinkedIn and the guy says, I'm going to buy that book because it's going to make my library look pretty. And I thought, really? You know, that surprised me. So the book has been written in a nice, easy format, so that it's not too technical, too jargon, it's not lawyer speech, it's actually transferred into information that the person who's new to IT or got no skill in IT can pick up. That is absolutely great, I thought, because there's a lot of people that need this qualification because it's now a foundation level course for cybersecurity. Um, the US military department of defense, and they all need this because if you're a GS employee and you don't get security plus within six months, if you work in a computer environment, you can lose your job. It stops your access and systems. And this is the same as the military. It stops the promotion, it stops the system. So I'm trying to get as many people in civilian life. There's people who want to move into cybersecurity. I don't blame them. Cybersecurity is the, it's the quickest, fastest um, work area. There's lots of jobs in cybersecurity. So what I've actually done is I've wrote the book, but I've also got a website that complements it. So let's go and have a look at the book itself. This is my book here. It's available on Amazon. You can actually see it. it's a Compture Security Plus S01 second edition. So let's look inside the book and see why my book is different from other people's books. So you can see the author. And at the moment, I'm actually a Microsoft certified trainer. I've got a Microsoft certified system engineer. I've done A+, Network+, Security+, Plus, CASP, and my Resilia practitioner. Over the last 23 years, I've done people in the high end. I forgot to put Cloud Plus in. Maybe I should have put that as well because it's quite relevant. Now, when we go to the chapters, you can see here that we break it down nice for you so you can see what we're actually doing in each chapter. And each chapter has been designed so it's easy. And you can see what's happening here. At the end of the exam, there's two mock exams here and there's an assessment of all the questions. So let, let us just quickly go through the book and, and see what we've actually got here. Well, you can see here's a diagram here about permissions. And then you've got the permissions here, nice diagram. Then we've got mandatory access control. Now, mandatory access control is all about access to classified information. So you can see there top secret what it causes secret, confidential, and I've given you examples of it as well. So let's go back through the rest of the book and see what we can actually see. So there's diagrams 
and there's examples. There's pictures of the robot and the forensics, there's a flow chart. And if I go back through here and we get public key infrastructure, we look at keys. Now, this is a place that people struggle. So what I've done, I've done certificate validity. And if I go through it, there's a tip. Certificate pinning prevents compromise, fraud, and SSL man in the middle attacks. So you've got tips all the way through. So we've got diagrams, we've got we've got tables, we've got tips. And as I go through, you can see the diagrams are quite good. We've got blockchain, we've got ephemeral keys, we've got why do we use it? And at the moment. I get to the end of the chapter <clears throat> and there's, if you've got a server, you can do the practical exercises revolting the certificate. But the review questions here are open-ended questions. Now, people said to me, all your, com all your competitors have got multiple choice. And I said to him, yes, multiple choice is, is the answers on the page. But with mine, you've got to know the open questions. If you know the open questions, you know the information. If you know the information and you understand concepts, you're going to get yourself certified. If you go through multiple choice all day long and you're good at guessing, you might actually fail. I don't know what actually happened there, but we'll come back to something else. Bang. Um, I don't want to export it. I better just stop you. Another thing we've got, we've got examples. So we've got the black box, gray box, and white box. And what we've got here, example, a pen tester is about to carry out a pen test, hasn't been given any information for the system. As they arrive at the company, the IT manager offers them a cup of tea and then gives them the local admin password. Well, a cup of tea doesn't count. What type of pen test is this? It's gray. Because what's happened, he's actually just been given, he's actually just been given a piece of information. Now what I've got here, we've got the new WPA3, and we've got things like protected management frames. We've got simultaneous authentication of equal. So you can see here, Wi-Fi easy connect. Why is it easy? Because it makes it easy to connect to IoT devices such as a smartphone by simply using a QR code. Now that's nice and simple to understand. I've got WPA3 Enterprise. It's an enterprise version that supports 256-bit AES, whereas the WPA2 only supports 128-bit. So it makes it suitable for government and finance departments. It also uses electric curve diffie the ephemeral the initial handshake. And we know that that is basically um, a single. So the diffie and ephemeral is basically a single use case. So that WPA3 is, is getting a lot better. It's, um, it's very secure. So let's look at the mock exams. I've got a mock exam here, and it's, it's given you and it's given you multiple choice. You're the administrator for college. You've got ten internet web servers, and you need to install an X509 certificate so they can support HTTPS. You need to lose, use a solution that is more cost effective. Which of the following will you use for the certificate? So you say to yourself, which one of these is actually and what you say to yourself, well, the question, which of these is actually the best? And let's go to the, the self-assessment answer at the back. Answer C, concept. A self-signed certificate is the cheapest certificate for internally facing the web server. So that's a concept. If you look at the answer to number three, concept, the logger allows you to insert commands into a file. So if we learn all the concepts, we are, we are ready to take this test. But let's now go have a look, because I've actually got 
some stuff on Amazon. I've got I've got my book on. Let's go and have a look because I've got my my books on actually Amazon. Let's go see what other people think. So today, this is Amazon, and I'm looking at my reviews, and I've hit. If you can actually see it, I've actually hit in three months a hundred reviews. And what happens here? Buzzwords that are mentioned. Make sure, need to know, pass the exam, help me pass, straight to the point. Highly recommended. Let's go and see, oh, that one's too big to read. This is it. Zachary says, this is the book. Don't buy anything else. I've done Udemy, Professor Messer, no disrespect. And this resonates the best with me. Every objective seamlessly connected in an easy to comprehend method. That's fantastic. Cody Kane, great book. Each topic is covered. If you're new to IT, it's a great review. That's what I've been saying. The author has made his own site flashcard set at securityplus.training. It's got 460 note cards for studying. That's flashcards. Then I've got the processes. That's a bit strange, the process. This book is awesome. I passed the exam and now I'm certified Security Plus certified because of the book. This is great for me to see. Security Plus is a lot of information, but this book breaks it down into concepts and processes. Once again, he's learned the concepts and processes. And the way that these illustrate in the text make them extremely understandable. Let's go and see about Darren. What does Darren say? This book gives you descriptive information and distant as aspects of the exam and what lessons mean in a natural IT and business environment. Oh, the exams and reviews test your knowledge of material and help you learn. The author also has flashcards and other materials. See, he's got the website. Let's look down. You know, great book for the exam. If you want to be qualified, this is the best book so far. So let, let us now go and have a look at the actual website. So what we're going to do, so here we are at the website that people say, let's go to the website. And you can see what I've done. There's free resources to help you prepare for the Compsa Security Plus exam. And here we go, an Easter special. So this is available up to Easter. If you want to go and buy it on Amazon, you put the code 25 Compsa in and you get a whacking 25% discount. I'm going to be poor. But it doesn't matter because people are getting my book for resources. I've got a contact us page. Now, please, if you read my book and there's bits you don't understand, or you read my book and you say, look, you're using British language. Can you turn it into American? Because I've taken feedback from students before. I was talking about a lorry. And all the guys in my course said, what's a lorry? And a guy says, what's a truck? So if, if I'm putting lorries in and there should be trucks, can you please help me and say, look, we don't know what this is. And I'll help explain it. Also, if you don't get a concept, I will try and explain it to you. If you put your WhatsApp number in, I'll give you a ring and help you. Now, exam, what do you need to do to get ready for the exam? This is about booking it online. Remember when you're online, you can't have any scratch paper. Also what you got, there's exam preparation. And then I've got do's and don'ts to testing. Don't do this, do this. Don't overthink, scan, rush, second guess, change your answers, reread the entire question. Do read the question carefully, rule out the wrong answers. 50 50, reread it, make 160 40. Which one do you pick? Don't pick the 40, pick the 60. Best or most than one means there's more than one correct answer. And also, try and find out the question that's been asked. I know it's simple, but if you don't answer the question that's been asked, they won't actually give you any points. And there's a secret to passing tests. Pick all the right answers, you get points. If you don't, you don't get the points. Now let's look at the flashcards. I'm going to tidy these up because I've done this website. I don't like the color outside the flashcard. 
What are two ways to complete network segmentation or separation? You click on the card VLAN in the screen subnet, but I put DMZ in because screen subnet is in the syllabus, but they're still calling it a DMZ. There's your next one. What device could suffer an ARP attack? Well, that will be a switch. What two devices use access and control list? <clears throat> Firewall and router. So you can see that these are actually, I put a lot of work to put these in for you guys. Now, what we've got is a study guide. And this tells you all about my study guide. Did you? Why did you read the book and that? But look at this picture. Isn't this absolutely fantastic? There's me. I'm not looking any thinner or any younger. But look at all those happy faces. Look at those guys smiling. They've all got my 501. You know, it's great. That makes my day. When people come out and send me a message or put on Amazon, I pass using this book. This is great for me. Now, what I've done, I put a bit of fun on it called the Holiday Challenge. And I'm trying to put this in LinkedIn, but nobody's catching on. And I've told them, I've been in lockdown for one year and two weeks. I would die to go on holiday. I really, really would. So what I'm doing here, I'm going to put this up every day and promote it in LinkedIn. This is, this is just a bit of fun. It's nothing to do with Security Plus. It's nothing to do with anything else. Let's do the holiday challenge. Holiday challenge. Where, what is this beach called? Well, I know for a fact South Sea Beach next to me doesn't have sand, it's all pebbles. So I'm going to say it's White Haven Beach because it looks Australia. And boom, I got it wrong because it's Bondi. Now, this is Easter Island, the nice stones, everybody's seen them. Here we go. Now, here is St. Pete's Beach. I recognize that. I've been there. This is America. And then this one here, this is a good one. I catch people out with this. Look at that, they say, well, that's pretty. It's all Disneyland. No, 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 ladies and gentlemen. It's actually Aruba, but it's, it was a great picture to catch people out. Where's this Disneyland? Well, it is actually Hong Kong. Let's see my results. Am I going to pass or am I going to fail? Oh, look, I just passed. If I didn't, I could restart the quiz and go all over again until I did. So I'm going to finish this. And once again, here's my website URL, securityplus.training. And my name is Ian Neil, and I hope you buy my book, and I hope I can get you certified. Remember, any queries, just contact me on the Contact Us page. Thank you so much. Best of luck with your careers, guys. I really want you to get certified.